guys, this is Kit Kat Paddywhack, and we are back with another episode of Dragon Age 2. Let's play. Let's give Alvaline her shield. And save first in case I mess up like last time. I have something for you. Do you now? A shield? Oh, and born by the one true Sir Aveline. Thank you. Oh, great. She's mad. I'm sorry. I don't see where I went wrong. I had a shield. It belonged to Wesley. It was difficult to let it go, but I did so. Utility over sentiment, right? We sold it, didn't we? Crap. You're taking this a bit seriously. If you didn't think this would upset me, what was your intent? She actually remembered I sold it to a random merchant. It's not enough to want you to be happy. Happy is for fools. Okay, it's not the shield, is it? No, and it's not Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this. I mean, who is Sarah Aveline to me? It seems odd you don't feel a kinship. You don't feel the name fits you. I didn't choose my name. Aveline was a wish my father made. I am similar to what he pictured, but that's because of what I try to be, not what I assume I should. Sir Aveline was a fine figure, but I don't revere failure, however glorious. The key thing here is do not pick, don't make it such a big deal. It'll piss her off. I thought of you when I found it. Maybe that was foolish. I can appreciate that. Then accept it on those merits. Nothing more. It is a fine shield. Then you don't do throw it on the ground. Smith slapped Sir Aveline's name on every second piece of armor. This didn't really belong to her. It does now. Okay, I did it right. Because the last time I did this scene, I told her not to make it such a big deal. And that was seen as being confrontational. And it pissed her off. Donick beds the captain and he gets tougher patrols. Boy should climb a little hill now and then. No favoritism. Which is probably a good thing about Aveline. If Aveline actually knows that I sold the shield to a random merchant, then that means she must remember whether or not I switched it between her and Hawk, if Hawk was a warrior, or if she knows that if I gave her Wesley's shield and I never sold it, then she would still get upset that I'm trying to tell her, Hey, you remember your dead husband's shield? Yeah, take this shield. It's better than your dead husband's shield. And it is! I mean, come on! I'm not gonna keep her shield. Her dead husband shield just because it's a sentiment. So in the previous episode, what happened was... It was simply concluding the problem with Sarah Von Nell kidnapping Canary delegates and then he killed one of them. And then I had to kill all the protesters. And it was really messy. And then I had to tell the Irishhawk that his delegate's dead. Hello, Mother Patrice. Sarah Hawk, it is good to see you. The shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate. Praise the Maker that you were his champion in that dark place. Oh my god. Stop pretending. You knew exactly what was going to happen in there. Hawk, you're standing between the righteous and the heretical. You're not going to make friends. I'd settle for being able to trust the people I already know. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vonell is more manageable as a martyr, but his loss will be felt. You have avenged heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. It might be if you were going to give this up. But you're not. 
Varnell was a fool, but the facts remain. An offense to the Maker goes unchallenged. I will give you no further cause to shame the Chantry today, but we will have this argument again. The Viscount's incompetence all but guarantees it. Sometimes you just know trouble is coming. So this I want to kill her so badly, but I can't. How is it you don't know what it is? It was in a box. And you didn't open it? You managed to resist the urge? It was locked. It was a locked box. Hasn't stopped you before. What do you want me to say? Nothing. I just found it curious, that's all. I think of all the people that have pried Isabella about what was in the box or what was the relic, I think Anders was the closest. You do have an opinion on mages, don't you? Of course I do. I just don't feel a constant need to bring it up. Mages don't worry me. And I don't believe the Templars when they say I should be worried. I'm more likely to be shanked in a bar than eaten by an abomination. You can hear those coming a mile away. Grrr. Arrgh. Oh, is that an abomination coming to eat us? We should get out of here. Abominations don't go grrr. Arrgh. <laughs> <laughs> I should rethink the whole thing then. One of the very few sane people in this world. I think it's unfortunate that the only two people that are sane in this entire story are Varric and Isabella. The two rogues who do things for money and take advantage of opportunities. It's pretty hopeless with Sebastian and Fenris and it's also just as hopeless with Anders I don't count Carver because Carver would be dead if Hawk was anything but a mage. You should have lived in Tevinter. You'd be happier there. You're probably right. There, your magic would be a mark of honor. Apprentice to the right magister, you would do well. Is there a downside? Only if you're bothered by owning a few slaves and performing the occasional blood ritual. So they all do those things? Just the ones who don't complain about how powerless and persecuted they are. Oh, that's a big burn! You gotta eat your words and enjoy it. Did you ever think about killing yourself? 
I could ask you the same thing. I'm serious. To get out of slavery, to escape Denarius. Don't tell me you never thought about it. I did not. To kill oneself is a sin in the eyes of the Maker. Wow. You believe that? I try to. Some things must be worse than slavery. Some things are worse than death. Don't talk to me. The temp bold are by the dirt. Thirty lashes for speaking to a civilian. So, Anders, there's a reason why I brought you here today. Oh my god, what's happening here? I didn't quite catch that. Someone said Parvolin and... I don't know why there's a Canary squad attacking me. Scion of the Amel family. Congratulations. Anyway, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can help the Templars with? Oh, you're kind to offer, but after what happened with Tirani three years ago, the Knight Commander has closed ranks. Our own men undergo weekly questioning, and she's eliminated all work with outsiders. It's hard to keep recruitment up enough to maintain our numbers. Everyone seems concerned about the Canari. What's the Templar stance? They are heathens. They will stop at nothing less than the eradication of the Chantry. But we can't know the immediate goals of the Kunari in Kirkwall. Should it come to open conflict, we are the largest army in the city. We will be the ones to lead its defense. Your Sir Ulrich was working on a plan to turn all mages tranquil. I will not ask how you came by the personal effects of a man recently murdered within our own walls. It's true there has been some discussion of the idea, but as you can see, it has gone no further than that. You expect us to believe that? Believe what you like, mage. The harrowing has served us well enough for centuries. It will be up to mages themselves whether they push us to more stringent measures. It sounds like you support this. The tranquil ritual was created as a mercy so that mages need not be killed out of hand for a threat they might pose. There is an argument to be made for applying it more widely. Are you going to listen to this? He's no better than Sir Ulrich. Do you think it's easy to contain a mage who truly wants to deal with demons? We have done our best. But many mages have made it clear they view the ritual as no better than death. They want no controls on them at all. I keep hearing about the Knight Commander. When do I get to meet her? I'm afraid she's become more reclusive since you came to Kirk Wallhawk. These last three years, especially, she's been very suspicious of outside influences. I almost wonder if something happened. Oh man, nothing happened. I know I could piss off Anders if I just pick pro Templar choices. They Colin, say this harbor was created by the Magisters long ago. I can't imagine what Hawk sees in you. It is done. Leave it be. Well, good. I always knew she had some sense. Do not make light of this. Leaving was the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, will you two get over yourselves? You're like two dogs around a bitch in heat. We were talking about Hawk, not you. Ah. Uh... Anyways, what was it? I think if you slept with Isabella before and then Anders and Fenris are arguing over you, then Isabella changes her line a bit, saying like, Oh, come on, guys. I That's slept cool. with him, too. I just lived in Karen.
I know your face. The boys in Orlay make big shots. You're thinking of someone else, oh maid of the brine. I think I'm gonna stop here and then pick up the series again next time. Because then this video is already pretty long without inflating the file size. So I'm gonna make this end of the video and until then I'm gonna see you guys later.